guys um hopefully you can hear me i'm starting this new setup sort of right now um basically just with cameras and stuff so if you cannot hear me please let me know um okay so here i am by myself tonight and um i'm gonna be doing a little bit of fpp uh, sewing. These are the <laughs> temperature quilt blocks that I've been working on. Um, and I have a whole bunch more that I need to do. So I thought, you know, why not sit on a live, talk to you guys. Um, here's the thing. Well, before I get to that, let me finish chewing my candy because, of course, I had to put it in my mouth two seconds before I came on. <laughs> oh, good. You guys can hear me. Perfect. Okay. Um, excellent. Okay, I can see I have seven thumbs up right now. Yay. Um, okay, so Marie Shepard is here. Uh, Marie Shepard thinks she may know me. Okay. <laughs> Where do you think you know me from? Well, we can check it out. Uh, let's see. Who else we got? Uh, Nita must be here. I can't like, scroll up past like when I came on, so um, I might have missed some people. Hey, Nita. Uh, Nancy Gus is here. And Mary Jane is here. Oh, this mouse that I have is like really really quick. Hi Donna, Jackie Spears here, Shelly Stewart's here, Sandy, uh, Sandy Welch, Laura Veach is here, Linda Foose is here, Lori LaSalle, uh, Mona is here, listening while she's driving, hey Mona, Carla Scudder's here, and New York maybe, I am in South Carolina now. Um, well, Marie, I used to live in um, in Connecticut, and I would go to New York now and again, um, but who knows? <laughs> Let's see, where else? Um, oh, good. It wouldn't be a great Wednesday night without at least one thumbs down. Thanks, guys. Uh, hi, Nelly. Nelly's here. Hi, Nelly. Um, Okay, so before I get started on sewing, <laughs> I thought that I could um, talk a little bit again about my retreats because they're coming up like so fast. Um, oh, you're so sweet, Nelly. I miss you too. Um, it's been it's been a minute, huh? <laughs> um, so anyway, I am sitting here and just things running through my head and I thought, oh my goodness, I think it's like less than a month or just right at a month until my first retreat, which is going to be in Boulder, Colorado. And I'm so excited to 
get to the first one. So if you guys have not heard about my retreats, I have three retreats that are coming up uh, this summer and early fall, and they're all going to be here in the Colorado area. The first one is in Boulder, and that one is coming up in June. Then we have, um, I have one that's coming up in August that's going to be in Breckenridge, Colorado. And finally, we're going to be, um, I don't know why I keep saying we. <laughs> well, we, whenever you sign up, you're going to be there too. Um, <laughs> we're going to be in Copper Mountain, Colorado in September. So if you go, <laughs> that's okay, Laura. <laughs> I do know that. I do. <laughs> You know what? I've I've I'm trying really hard to just stay very lighthearted about the whole thing because honestly, I, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, um, what was I saying? Uh, oh my goodness, you guys! For goodness' sakes, nothing's changed. <laughs> I still can't can't remember what I'm I'm in the middle of talking and and forget everything I was saying. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> The I wanted to let you guys know that Breckenridge and Copper Mountain are both like up in the mountains. Uh, so they're all they're both like up in the Rockies, and it's really gorgeous there. Um, and a really cool thing about Boulder is that they have um, well, there's this one quilt shop that I'm going to be taking everyone to, and. It is an amazeballs quilt shop. I can't wait to go and have you guys visit it as well. I went and, gosh, I must have stayed there an hour and a half at least, maybe two hours. I mean, there's just so much in this shop. And it, it anyway, so I can't wait to take you guys there. And I'm going to have, of course, a project that I'm going to be doing with you guys. I'm going to bring all of the fabric so you don't have to worry about that. Um, any of the other projects that I'm going to have going for that weekend, I'm going to bring the patterns and the, and the um, fabric and everything. So everything is provided whenever you come. There, are, I'm going to provide all the food, just like snacks, everything. So the only thing you have to bring if you are uh, coming to one of these retreats, which I'm super stoked about, is yourself, your sewing machine, and unfortunately you should bring some clothing because, uh, you know, it's not clothing optional, so everyone needs to have their own clothes. But bring something comfy. I mean, maybe we'll, you know, put some, you know, jeans and a t-shirt on like to go to the quilt shop and maybe to go out to dinner or whatever but when we are in the room and sewing girly i'm gonna be as close to pajamas as possible i can tell you right now that's how i like to sew uh, socks sweatpants t-shirt a, a hoodie we're all set so I'm getting really excited, and so I wanted to make sure that I talked to you guys about it uh, before I got started sewing tonight. And let me see who else came in. We got somebody else came in. Vicky's here. Hey, Vicky. And Netta's here for a short visit. I'm so happy to have you here, Netta. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Um, let's see. Okay, I think that's everybody. Um, and I'll try to remember to keep looking up so that I can say hey to other people who are coming in. Oh, Shelly Clark. Hi, Shelly. Shelly's here. Um, okay, so I am ready to go. I'm going to move this mouse out the way for a little bit. <laughs> but I do need to switch over my cameras. And okay, so hopefully you guys can see um, what what I'm doing and if you need me to zoom in a little bit more you can let me know um oh I do need to change my bobbin I'm like if I try to play chicken with that it's not going to be good okay so where's my oh I forgot to bring them over hold on one sec la -di -da, la -da -di -da. where are there they are <laughs> I was like, like, where did my darn bobbins go? There they are. Um, okay. 
So I've been, I was like sewing and I knew that I was getting close to the end of my bobbin, but I did not change the bobbin. So here we go. I'm going to change it. And if anyone's asking, I use a uh, wonderful deco bob in my bobbin. And I also use, um, right now I'm using an 80 weight or fill, but I'm switching to, um, the wonderful deco bob in my machine as well so um, I'm just working through what I already have and then I'm gonna be switching over to Wonderfill. Um, Orphil is still really great you guys I'm not dissing uh, Orphil. I just uh, noticed that when I started using Wonderfill, that I literally have no lint now with Orphil. You don't have a lot of lint like it's it's but there is some there so um i'm switching and you know you can try it if you'd like to try it or not it's up to you no no skin off my nose um who do we got oh wait looks like who's here uh marie if you go to YvetteRenéCreations.com. You will be able to see uh, at the top. It, there'll be a, a section for quilt retreats, quilting retreats. Click on that, and all three will be in a drop-down menu, so you can uh, check them all out. And let's see. Laurie's here. Hi, Laurie. And Gidget came in. Awesome. Okay, so any questions or anything please just let me know and I will answer um, Christina's here hey Christina I have all of my um, I printed everything out I have all of the dates and the colors by temperature all on in my big stack here and I'm just gonna start sewing so it I mean you guys I am quite a bit behind on my there's cat hair everywhere uh, I'm, I should just not worry about it because you know it's my quilt and then when it's all said and done then I'll be able to just pass it through the washing machine and the dryer and everything will come off so I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to sew with hair on it um, <laughs> but it literally took me like all day to cut out all of the fabric and everything else it was crazy town and of course I did it while sitting on the phone well not phone phone um, the girls and I like to sew together sometimes and we'll go on Facebook Messenger and uh, and sew together all day or whatever it is we're gonna be doing And so I did that just this past weekend, getting ready for all of this. I don't know if this keyboard is going to stay up there. I might have to move it down. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Nita. Hey, Paula. Oh, Linda Armstrong, New Iberia in the house. <laughs> hey, girly, what's up? <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's great. I love it. I love it. I'm going to have all the Louisiana folk coming in. Can't wait. <laughs> oh. So y'all tell me what y'all are up to tonight. What's going on in your neck of the woods? What you up to? I have been um, working on a project that you'll be hearing about pretty soon. Okay, Netta. Hi, Patricia. Oh, your granddaughter's having a baby soon. That's exciting. That sounds like fun. I'll try to scooch that. Do, do. Okay. 
And of course, I've got Mr. JB sitting over here, <laughs> just chilling with me. My little sweetie pie. So I'm going to see. It's easier. You know what? Maybe if I move my keyboard down, I can do like I do when no one's here. And I can stack my little fabrics up here so I have more room to do more blocks. Um, Pam is hand stitching a binding. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Lori. Oh, wait. I, <laughs> my, my mouse is over, over there. Um, hey, Gina. Gina just got notice. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Patricia, you have two granddaughters who are both pregnant and having the babies, like, practically at the same time. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, I'm glad you're here too, Linda. Marie says, I've been doing hand piecing of a quilt and wire working and beading, doing different things to keep me busy while out on workers' comp. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Sandy. Sandy's been sewing all day. I have not been sewing all day. I've been working on um, things related to sewing, but not actually sewing. So... Uh, this is my first sewing today. Oops. I've grabbed two pieces of fabric. And Gina says her knee feels better. Did I say that already? Sorry. So Patricia, are you on baby watch or is your are are your granddaughters like having their um their births planned? I know that they do that a lot lately. My um I want to say like for all three of my sister-in-law's babies, she scheduled her delivery. And I think my sister did, at least on the last one, like they had her all scheduled up. Like she was, she went to the hospital and they induced her. I was like, whoa, don't they just wait for the baby to come anymore? <laughs> I, I guess they don't. <laughs> hey, Shirley. Christina says, I was trying to learn how to cross stitch, but I just dropped my needle. Uh-oh. I can barely think for all the noise my husband is making. He's installing the kitchen sink. Well, you do need the kitchen sink. And I'm probably not saying anything that you don't already you haven't already heard. Well, maybe. I guess if I'm talking about the people in the chat. <laughs> then you wouldn't know those things yet. Uh, but you'll be all right if you don't hear what I say. It'll be okay. <laughs> All right, put that up there. Laura's cutting scraps. Yeah, I did see that, Laura. I saw that um, on Facebook that you were cutting all your scraps out. I don't actually keep my scraps. I know, I know, shocking. Everyone's probably freaking out right now. Well, not everyone, because not all of us save our scraps, but probably most people save their scraps. Laura, you make so many quilts. Yeah, I am like in awe, honestly, of all that you do. I just, it's amazing. 
It is absolutely amazing. So I don't know how many of you guys have been working on a temperature quilt um, or a temperature anything. Like if you guys see Pam come in, she's been crocheting a snake. And every once in a while she'll show uh, pictures of it. And it's, it's super cute. And there's no rules or anything. You can like, you know, do whatever you'd like. Um, I think I'm going to get a pattern, um, no, I got a pattern, sorry, um, for cross stitching and I think it was, um, if you guys know Pamela Colburn who comes on, Pamela was telling me about this lady who had, um, who had a cross stitch one and I went and oh my goodness, I loved it and I bought either one or two of the patterns because I figure you know you can do one and then wait a couple years do another one <laughs> they come out so bright and cheerful so it's exciting Ooh, Nancy says I got my Everglow and True Colors bundle today it's gorgeous yes it is Patricia uh, says, yes, I am. Autumn has told doctor she wants to be induced on June 2nd if she doesn't have her or have the baby on the due date. Cassidy has um, something her doctor, if she doesn't have Beckman due on, they are inducing on the 12th. Okay, so they want to have it by a certain time, otherwise they want to be induced. Gotcha. Linda Parsons keeps the big scraps. Both girls are trying to make sure their mom can be there for both. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Diana. Lori says, today I worked on cutting scraps for a project and also made a pillowcase for my daughter's birthday this weekend. Awesome. Happy birthday to your daughter. Laura says, I was a Head Start teacher. I can, can't stand not being busy. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you stay busy doing everything that we love watching you do. Because really, you could do a whole bunch of stuff. And we like seeing your quilts. Oh, we know, yeah, but we know, it. you did type teacher. It says I was a Head Start teacher. You typed it correctly. And besides, we, we'll know what you're saying. I don't think anybody is so nutballs that they're not going to realize what you were saying and, you know, all this forgiven, please. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. How are my events coming along? Do you mean the retreats? Um, yeah, they're coming along okay. I'm getting excited. I got one that's coming up in a month. Uh, if you guys haven't gone over to check them out, you should do that. You can go to eventrenecreations.com. And the retreats are at the top. If you use the drop-down menu, you can see... You can see the ones that are coming up. Um, <laughs> there's Pam! 
Pam, I don't know if your ears were ringing, but I was talking about your about your snake. Because I'm working on my temperature quilt tonight. And I was telling everybody that you got a cute little snake that you're making for your temperature project this year. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my brain goes faster than I can type to. I, it's, it's terrible. And then if I'm trying to either type or read, my brain is going faster than my hands can too. It's just, it's crazy. I feel like I should have a circus going on in the background or something. Something to entertain the folks while I'm pressing. <laughs> or otherwise have nothing to say. <laughs> I've said many times that the hardest thing about doing lives is not having enough to say. And I've um, started doing things a little bit differently because I uh, get fussed at if I talk about things too early. Because one of my, and you guys are going to, for those of you who have been with me a long time, and I know there's a lot of y'all, um, you'll know this is just like me. Um, I tend to just decide I want to do something and then I just start talking to y'all about it. Like I'm, I start telling you all about everything I'm going to do. And then if something happens where I either can't do it or, you know, for whatever reason, and I've already told everybody I was going to do it. I mean, it just, there have been so many times and I know it probably happens to you guys, you know, but you're not on YouTube. So <laughs> Nobody knows that, you know, you had wanted to do a project and something happened to make it so that you couldn't do the project or um, you know, whatever it is. Me, personally, I tend to overextend myself. I also, um, I do way too much of last minute planning. And so that's something that I'm working on. I know I've told you guys I'm not really a... Um, like, I don't uh, come up with resolutions, so to speak, like at the beginning of the year. But I do always tell myself, you know, let's let's try to, you know, rein it in this year, Yvette. Let's try to, you know, not 
say that you're going to do a hundred things and you know only get 20 of them done. So while it's perfectly fine for us as human beings to like change our mind or not do this project because this came up or blah 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 whatever the, whatever it is. Um, you know that that sort of thing is per perfectly fine unless you're on YouTube and you're telling people that you're going to do it because then you know you like never live it down which is me and I like I said no resolutions but I am I don't know been doing a lot of soul searching this year I guess I should say um, trying to acknowledge those things about myself that I might want to change not paying attention I mean I'll be honest I don't really pay that much attention to if other people think that I need to change something about myself I don't listen to that but if if it's something that I'm feeling personally I, you know that's that's something that I'm, I'm trying to think about this year so yeah, and you know, I think we all probably do a lot of that, or some of that anyway. Kind of trying to think about your life and how it's going. If you're happy with how it's going. Soul searching. <laughs> Let me see here. Um, I know I missed some people. Oh, cool, Pam. I honestly, I love your little snake. Um, the little heart is covering up your words while you're typing. And Lori says, big thank you for the package from you today. I'm excited to have a new cross-stitch project. It's Christmas themed. Oh, you got that one. Okay. Um, so just for you guys to know, um, I just, you know, every once in a while when we are having one of our sew-alongs for Piecing It Real, I will just... Um, realize that I have so many projects that are just sitting around in my room and that you know I can't possibly do them all and so I will just offer them up to my peeps over in piecing your reel so that's what she's talking about um, I will do I'll have unboxings where you know there's like cross stitch projects or sometimes it'll be something with yarn you know I'll have received some yarn or do I want to keep it maybe I don't like it because um, we all like different stuff you know not everybody likes the same thing so then uh, yeah I tend to do that the people who come to uh, the sew alongs get some get some swag so to speak <laughs> let's see Shelly says, I would like to communicate telepathically. I think faster, I think faster than my words can keep up with. Sometimes the words are hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Sign me up. Uh, the sewing is nice. Abby is the circus. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, it's, it's funny because I think Abby would probably be here every week if I wanted her to. Um, and I like Abby too, um, but um, people want to see me sew, so that's what I'm doing. I'm sewing, <laughs> and also it gives me a little extra time to get some stuff done, stuff that I'm not really, you know, doing on camera because I think it would, I think it would start to get a little boring. Um, So, this is what I'm doing. When it happens to me, I call it failure to launch. <laughs> and... Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, poop! <laughs> 
I know, Laura. Isn't that right? I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, listen, I would be at least be, I would at least have some background music on if I weren't going to get dinged for it. You know, that way I wouldn't have to sit here and feel like I, I have to have this running commentary the entire time. Um, but a lot of time, not only being on lives, but also making the videos. I mean, you guys, I get so tired of hearing myself talk that I just, I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to, like, nothing. Don't call me. I'm not going to answer the phone. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm tired of talking. <laughs> oh, hi, Karen. Karen Brunette. How are you, honey bun? Uh, Patricia says, I'm trying to learn time management and saying no to people. Oh, isn't that hard? It's hard. Especially because, you know, like, I want to do all the things. I want to do all the things. And so, a lot of times when I would come on here and I'm talking about, oh, I'm going to do this, and now I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do, you know, it's it's because I think we all do that. We all, like, we see something and we're like, oh, yeah, I'm doing that, you know? And then, alas, no time. <laughs> uh... Watch your analytics. That should tell you what types of videos people like. Yeah, I mean, I I, I know you're right, Shelly. That's so funny how you're like, watch your analytics. I, I never got into that. I know how it sounds. I really do. I know how it sounds. Um, my bestie, Christy, over on Georgia Sunshine. Oh, my goodness. Like, she is on top of it. That's why, I mean, that's probably why her channel grew and mine really didn't. Mine's just stagnant, you know. Um, I know you're right. I just, I, I don't know. It, I, it's, I, it's not fun to me to sit there and have to go through all the little, the charts and the, the I know you're right. Really, I do. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Sherry's here. And Shelly says, don't worry, I like the sound of the machine. No need for background music. Just a sewing friend to keep me company. You're so sweet. Yes, Karen, doing well today. Thank you for asking. Yes. Okay, so I don't remember. Let me see. It was Lori, Nancy. And Gina, you guys are the ones who got um, the cross stitch patterns. So Nancy is saying that she received, because I sent it to her, <laughs> the floss in the canvas for April. And you know what, Nancy? It could even be that I still have April here. And it wasn't in a project bag yet, so I, I didn't. I don't even notice. So it could be that it's just me, and I'll never find out. <laughs> but if it's one of you guys, let Nancy know. She said she'll send it to you. Thank you, Nancy. Um, I know, Shelly. Keep reminding me, honey bun. Keep reminding me, and I'll do it. She goes, "Oh, great! Now I got a job." <laughs> She goes, I didn't ask for this job.
Gina said she got January. Okay, Gina. So, Gina, did so you got your bundle as well, right? Because I'm trying to remember. Did I put it all in the same thing? Yes, I did. So, you got yours. Gina was the lucky recipient of the prize that I gave out in Piecing It Real. And it was a fat quarter bundle of Everglow and the Neon True Colors. Can't wait to see what you do with it. <laughs> Nancy, why don't you just keep it and I'll send you another kit if I can find it. <laughs> if I find my April, I'm going to just send it to you and you can have two. <laughs> Oh, I know, Laurie, it's actually, it's getting harder now to, um, to do the project boxes because I'm going through, like, the fabric that I have left, and it's, like, you know, fabric that I want to use myself, so I'm like, I don't want to cut that up for mystery boxes. <laughs> so I probably also need to start, um, doing a little clean out of my shelves and stuff like that, so, um... I know that the mystery boxes that I had probably two years ago or so were different. Um, it wasn't me cutting up yardage. It was basically me running around the room trying to find all of the things on my shelves that I probably wasn't going to use and then sending it to people. So um, that'll probably be what I'm going to do in the next round because... Um, like I said, I'm, I'm sort of running out of yardage that I want to cut up. I need to go through everything is what I need to do. Uh, cause I've got lots and lots of fabric all over the place, as you can imagine. So, yep, that's next. Oh! What do you mean you had no clue, Gina? You won the, the, remember we all picked numbers? And you picked the number that was closest to my number without going over? <laughs> I know it's been, it took a minute for me to send it because I did that with you guys right before I went to Louisiana. And so I had to wait until I came back. So you guys did have to wait a second. For me to send it so maybe I took too long um, it is the acorn precision piecing product <laughs> it's a fabric treatment so they have a glue and then they have this and this is the I, I don't know I call it magic juice it basically is, you put like the tiniest little bit on your seam and it is flat as a pancake and it stays flat as a pancake. Like it doesn't, um, did I cut that? Yes, I did. Um, it doesn't like bounce back up. You know how sometimes it'll do that whenever you press and then if you are making a whole bunch of blocks, then by the time you get around to putting your blocks together, now your seams are popping up and you got to like repress it to like, to make lay it. Blah, to get it to lay flat again. <laughs> well, this does not do that. At least it has never done it for me yet. So, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I really like it. Hello, Remo. You've slept since then. <laughs> well, that's good. That's very good. <laughs> I'm glad you're sleeping. <laughs> Laura says, I started cutting, cutting the Everglow as soon as it came. I've got the top done and another one started. Yes, I did see it. It was great. Oh, cool. Excellent, Christina. Hey, Liz. How's it going, girly?
Yes, I can't wait to see that, Nancy. Nancy's going to use uh, her Ever Glow for my Perpetual Motion quilt. And I'm really excited about um, getting my Perpetual Motion quilted. So I am. I had wanted to start teaching myself this past weekend, but I never did get to it. Um, I started doing other things like um, doing mystery boxes. <laughs> and I cut all of the fabric out for this, for the, um, the temperature quilt, and yeah. Jellybean, I think you keep moving closer and closer to me, buddy. Mommy needs room, you know. I do. Look at how big this block is, buddy. It's bigger than you. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. It's close, though. Are you gonna get up? No, y'all getting up? Okay. Did you get a good nap? Yeah, took a little nap. Whew, mama could use a nap. Mama can always use a nap. <laughs> I haven't actually taken a nap in a while. I love taking naps. Pause up if you like naps. <laughs> Go on, raise your paw, buddy. You're always napping. Yeah, you're always napping. Are you okay? As soon as you moved, Mama took advantage, huh? <laughs> you can scooch back over. Just, oh. He put his booty closer to me. Now, now I have to try not to like tap him with the arm. I won't. I promise. Believe me, I'm I'm used to having a kitty right here.
All right. Um, oh, I missed a few things here. Okay, Liz says, it's going good. I finished piecing my fanfare quilt yesterday. Yay! Getting ready to load my all roads quilt on the long arm. Nice. She wants some of the Everglow polka dot and stripes fabric. Cool. The polka dot and stripes are actually uh, the neon true colors is what you're looking for. Um, Everglow is just the like the animals part. And let's see. <laughs> Pam's got her hands up. Are the boxes this time half yard cuts like last time? Yes. The ones that are currently in the shop are, are like that. Oh, thanks for dropping in, Gidget. It was good to see you. Uh, Sharon says, I'm using my last one for the Barn Star sampler. Oh, cool. Awesome. Christina says she has three dogs underfoot when she sews. Ooh, Nancy. Awesome. Nancy, you got a lot going on right now, too, with the... Uh, uh, I know that you're doing the carousel medallion and um, trinkets. Oh, Christina, you're going to do Desert Sky. Awesome. Um, Liz, I do have... Yes, I'm pretty sure I put it in my shop already. Um, let me look real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, so I have, um, I have charm packs, I have layer cakes, and I have jelly rolls. So that's what I have in my shop of the Neon True Colors. I did not get fat quarter bundles. Um, I can get them, but for me, it was like most of the people who were asking for fat quarter bundles wanted the Everglow Neon True Color mix. So that's what I have in my shop. Um, and I also still have two of the Star Cluster quilt kits in my shop if anyone was looking for them. I know that um, uh, there were a lot of people looking for them. And I have currently only sold one, so I still have a couple of them in there, if anybody's interested. And I actually have, like, a whole bunch of, like, really, of, like, new stuff in the shop that I've just gotten in in the past uh, couple weeks. So, if you're looking for... Um, Layla Boutique's new Christmas Eve. I have that in the shop. Um, I think I have some charm packs of reindeer games by me and my sister designs. I have, um, gosh, lots of stuff. Lots of new stuff. So if you go in the shop and look under, um, new arrivals, you'll see the stuff that's come in in the past couple of weeks or so.
Uh, Marie says, a friend of mine picked up a, an oval quilting frame at a thrift store, never opened for my birthday the other day. Oh my goodness. And Nancy's also doing two cotton cuts puzzle mystery, mystery quilts. Ha! <laughs> oh. Was that one of y'all? Sharon, was that you who just bought a mystery box? Thank you, honey bun. So y'all, I'm going to a, um, like a sewing and quilting festival tomorrow. I'm going with my friend Peggy and I'll be sure to take some pictures and share that with you guys. I'm excited. I haven't been, um, to a quilt festival like this in Colorado yet. I, I obviously had that booth at the one little expo type thing, but I think this one is outdoors. I'm not 100% sure, but I hope the weather is better tomorrow than it is it was today. That's for sure. Um, gonna have to like bring a boat otherwise. <laughs> Okay, I have to say the one thing about um, the temperature quilts is you sure do get some crazy color combinations. <laughs> There's some of them where I was all like, this looks awful. <laughs> it's going to be a very interesting looking quilt, I can tell you. All right, what is this? March 25th, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, ever-growing pile. <laughs> now I have to get some water for a second here. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon, you're so sweet. Oh my goodness. You're going to try and make your own quilting frame. That's ambitious. <laughs> I say go for it. Oh. Jelly bean, it, it could could you possibly take up more room, baby? I don't know. I don't know if you could. You're kind of stretched out there, buddy. Shama baby, look at him. Shat to pom pom. You are too adorable for words, honey. Too adorable for words. And your mama is not biased in any way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Marie says, I was going to Patricia, but never had the time. I will be hand quilting my English paper piecing quilt. Wow. Hey, Dora. Oh, Dora's got a new kitten. Awesome. Uh, Liz, you're doing the temperature quilt that Kimberly Jolly is doing? Um... 
Oh, Nancy says, I've overextended myself. I also have FPP, Block of the Month, Desert Rose from Stitch in Heaven. <laughs> awesome. I know, right, Lori? She's, she's like crazy. You named him Gandalf. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Um, oh, Christmas Noel from Stitches of Love. Shabby fabrics, kitchen towel, and folded star. Oh my goodness! <laughs> she says, Lori, I'm not. <laughs> awesome. Kimberly's is beautiful, but she said it's very time-consuming. I I guess I'll have to go take a look. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> See, if you were making a quilt, you would probably not put ethereal pink with bright orange. I'm just saying. <laughs> probably wouldn't be your first choice. <laughs> Nancy, weren't we just all talking about this? See, hot pink, yes, Shelly. Yes on a hot pink. <laughs> Light baby pink is a little different. 
<laughs> but yes, I wore a lot of hot pink and neon orange at the same time, too, in the 80s. For sure. <laughs> Dora says, I went to a local quilt show. There was a miniature quilt and they credited you on showing her how to make it. What? Are you serious? Dora, where are where are you that it's local? And yeah, Sherry says, do you remember who it was? I would love to know who it was. Are you serious? I, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really amazing. That would that would make my night. I'm that would totally make my night. Um Liz says, I bought a mini 12x12 FPP kit at the Expo. I finished it today. I'm thinking about mounting it on a canvas frame. Awesome. I, I, now, I'm, now I'm obsessed. Dora, you're in trouble now because I'm never going to leave you alone. <laughs> you know, because it, it's... It, it is very nice whenever you, I mean, you know, I, I, regardless, I would love to, I love teaching people how to FPP. I really do. And regardless of like what I taught someone or, or anything like that, it's just, it's, it's more like, it's just a good feeling whenever you can show someone how to do something that they wanted to do. And then for goodness sakes, she's like, put it in a quilt show and all. I just think it's amazing. That is so wonderful. So wonderful. Mobile, Alabama. Could not get close enough to take a picture. Well, that's cool. And oh, isn't that wonderful? I now have two thumbs down. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Not everybody, just the whomever that was. <laughs> yeah, I will, Shelly.
Okay, Dora, thanks. Thanks, Nancy. I sure would like thumbs up. That would be super duper lovely. <sighs> Patricia, sometimes I will chain piece. Here's the thing that I don't like about chain piecing is that with FPP and I will still chain piece sometimes. Um, it just depends on my mood because with FPP, because I'm having to like fold the paper back, if I were to chain piece, then I have to sort of tear the paper a little bit or tear the where the stitch goes over. I would have to um, tear the stitch out of the paper. Now, it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> it really isn't. But sometimes I'm just like, uh, I don't want to deal with it. I would rather just do um, sew the line right from that point to right to that point so that I don't have to worry about that. And, you know, it's honestly, it's not a big deal. So there are a lot of times when, yes, I will chain piece. And that's really the only difference it makes. Um, as long as it's, you know, in this particular instance, I could definitely be chain piecing. Because all you're doing is going, like, from one end to the other. I could totally chain piece. Um, and it would, it might even be quicker. Um, but with you guys watching me, I just think it gives you guys a little more variety also to watch if, you know, if I were to sit here and just do like, you know, 20 minutes of stitching and then 20 minutes of trimming and then 20 minutes of, I, you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Um, it's just to me, um, yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And today I just, eh, I kind of like some. You know, the only thing with chain piecing is a lot of times it does get way more monotonous than if you were to do little piece at a time. So um, I do like chain piecing quite a lot. Um, like I said, it's just my mood. Whatever mood I'm in. Uh, Sharon says, I use the Acorn Fabric Treatment Spray and boy, is that stuff great. Yep. I love it too. Absolutely. Jelly Bean, did you move again, buddy? I think you're even closer. I think you are. <laughs> He's like, this is mine. <laughs> Keep your iron away from me. <laughs> oh, my little baby boy. My little baby boy. I love you. My little honey bunches of oatmeal. Oops. 
Sorry, buddy. Got a text from Jim. Sorry. La di da da. Okay. Oop, did that go? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, oops. I turned it off too fast. Love, exciting and new, come aboard, we're expecting you, the love boat, and so we'll be making another run, all aboard, the love boat, <laughs> sorry guys. Entertaining myself here. The love boat. It's too bad y'all weren't on. I'd like make y'all talk about stuff. I'd be like, tell us about your day. <laughs> Yvette has nothing to say at this moment. <laughs> The juice? Hold on, I missed something. Uh, <laughs> Patricia says I'm nodding to what you're saying. Uh, no, Pam, it's a little... It's a little pin like this, and it's got a... A tip. I think this... I still think this is what she means, though. I'm just, I'm, I'm just kind of assuming. I know I probably shouldn't. <laughs> uh, oh, good night, Marie. That's okay, sweetheart. Thank you. Have you made it to Meow Wolf yet? I don't know what that is, Dora. Maybe you're not talking to me. I ordered the set that came with the Mr. Bottle and the refill of the product. Um, are you talking about Best Press? I don't sell that, but maybe that's what you're talking about? Uh, hey Shannon! How you doing, honey bun? No, I, I don't, Pam. I don't put it in the mister. I just use it on the pin because I you use like very little.
your love bowl. Do, do, do. Hey, buddy. Do you like mama singing? Yeah? Uh, the acorn refill I got came with a mister bottle. Oh. Huh. Who'd you order that from? Like, I, I don't think I've even seen them in the, uh, I haven't seen a mister bottle. Even whenever I go and buy them. Maybe it's something new. I'm not sure. And Dora says, I am. Look it up. It's a totally different place in Denver. Okay. I shall look it up. Let me see. Ugh. I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> Where did you say that? Meow Wolf. Okay, hold up. It's a convergence station. Convergence station isn't just Meow Wolf's third and largest permanent exhibition. It's the first multiversal transit station serving Earth and home to one of Denver's most unique performance and event venues. Are you just talking about Meow Wolf as a, is it a city? No. Because this just says Denver. Jelly, uh, Smudgy, you have to hold up a bit. We're, look, we got six minutes. Okay? Six minutes? Is that okay? I love you. I love you, buddy. <laughs> He's like, six minutes. <laughs> I'm about to go check this out. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This, but this looks cool. <laughs> Meow Wolf's family-friendly guide to Denver. Take a tour of Tiny Meow Wolf. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to check this out a little bit later. This is cool. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out more. Awesome. Um. Okay. <laughs> Um, Yvette, have you entered any of your FPP quilts in a quilt show? No. <laughs> I don't even think I have a proper quilt finished. Um, I have, like, some smallish FPP projects that I have actually finished with, you know, uh, quilting and binding and everything, but I don't have... You know, like, a couple of the ones that I have hanging on the wall right now are FPP. And I, you know, obviously I just finished those. So I'd have to... I don't know. It makes me nervous. Like, I don't know that I need to have an entire group of people telling me that I'm not that great. <laughs> uh, Lori says, I'm so happy to be here tonight watching you so... I've been volunteering Wednesday nights for the past few months and have missed this so much. Oh, Lori, I love you. You are you are just such a sweet person. 
Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Like I'm gonna put that up there, everybody can see. Um, Sharon says no, it was Acorn, and I got it from Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna go look on Amazon and see because I'm not sure. Um, Patricia Allen says she was using Best Press, but she found out that Stay Flow works well. You mix it yourself. It's cheaper and lasts longer. Okay. Shelly says it was from a quilt shop online in a shrink wrapped set. So it came from Acorn that way. I'm going to totally look for that because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I might have to look. Um, Dora says it's a totally different experience. Well, it looks like it. <laughs> Sharon says I'm working on the great granny square quilt and all those one inch squares were really flat. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Um, there are three different ones across the country. Wow. Okay. Thank no, thanks, Dora. Seriously. That it looks super cool. And I'm gonna go and see about that. Let me pop over to it's just me. Look, Mr. JB back there. <laughs> Jenny Bean, you taking a bath, baby? Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> it's not Saturday night though. <laughs> um, the Fat Quarter Shop also has the Easy Press fabric treatment product with the spray bottle. Okay. Hey, Joyce. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go for the night and I'm going to go make sure I can give uh, Smudgy his treat. Uh, Smudgy's doing just fine right now, by the way, just in case anybody was wondering. And I'm going to go make myself some dinner. Uh, not 100% sure. I think I'm just going to, like, brown up some chicken. Maybe make some rice to go with. <laughs> um, hi from Maryland, just up the road. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here, Shannon. It's nice seeing your little face in the circle. Now that I've got like this big old screen, I can see a bigger picture of you. <laughs> okay, guys. Good night. So good to talk to all of you. And I'll see you next week. Mwah.